Yo, what's going on everybody, Need for Beans over here. In this video, I'll show you guys how to fix any render problems with DaVinci Resolve. This video is for anybody that's getting problems rendering their full project. Once they're all done with the project, the render is freezing, DaVinci Resolve is crashing. So there's a lot of videos out there giving you guys tips and tricks on how to speed up the renders. One of the most common tips that I see is to go to the file settings here and change the render speed to something like 25%, 10%. But after messing with all of these settings and watching almost every single video, I figure out the best way to fix your renders, especially if you're rendering something like a 4K video, a super heavy duty video that's gonna cause you a lot of trouble and usually takes a lot of time to render. And so in this video, guys, I'll show you how to fix any render issues on the Vitra Resolve and how to make sure every single render from now on never crashes again. After watching this video, I guarantee you, you will never have a render problem with DaVinci again. So without further ado, let's get to it. So first thing I have here is I have a full project. You guys see this project has a lot of effects. This project has a lot of compound clips. So rendering it just like this, it will take a lot of time and I guarantee you it will probably crash. Not only this, but we are also going to go ahead and upscale our project from 1920 by 1080 to 4K. So this is going to cause some extreme, extreme latency issues and also the problems when it comes to render. I'm sorry guys, this is the easiest way to fix your render. So first thing we're gonna do, you guys select all of these, make sure it's unlinked from the audio, right click, create a new compound clip. This is gonna be a huge compound clip, it's gonna be one big clip. Right click on this big compound clip, render cache color output. You'll notice a red bar going across the whole compound clip. And now what you wanna do is, is go to our delivery tab here, and we're gonna just play through this project and make sure that before we even start the render, we let the editor essentially create a preview of the full montage. So before you even start the rendering process, you wanna make sure there's no red bars. Everything is a big blue bar and when you play the montage through, when you play your video through, it plays with no problem. So I'll be right back guys when we're all done and this, all gets pre-rendered. Alright guys, so as you can see here, we have the full clip rendered or pre-rendered. Now we can actually play through the video without any hiccups. Even with all the effects. Alright, so that's what you want to get your montage to look like before you render it. Alright, you should be able to play through it at the final resolution you're gonna render it at with absolutely no problems. So what the blue bar means, it means that DaVinci Resolve actually created a cache here. As you can see, it's about 618. Last modify here. It's created a cache with 637. So it pretty much pre-rendered all these videos into this DVCC format, which is essentially, I would say, like a kind of an image format. So essentially, it already did all the rendering for your video. So now, when it comes time to render the actual video, we're not going to actually be rendering it. So here we're going to go and use custom settings. The render settings, go ahead and check our leave everything normal best quality now for the render settings the only thing you do want to check when you are about to render is obviously give it a name fortnite montage mercedes give it a location all right so the last thing you want to do is make sure that in your render settings in your video if you go down here to advanced settings make sure to turn on advanced settings you want to check use render cached images that's the only other thing you want to check you can also leave this checked use render cached images now once you hit that go ahead and click add to render queue and when you render this video you will notice it's just gonna really zoom through the video it's not gonna pause anywhere it's not gonna take a long time this is the fastest render you'll ever have and this is at maximum render settings so there's no point in dropping down your render settings so essentially what's going on right now is because DaVinci already pre-rendered the preview in that DVCC format in the cached folder. What it's actually doing right now is just encoding those DVCC cached files into your MOV or MP4 file, your QuickTime format. So this render step, you've already really done the render, you're just encoding the video. So that's why this is the best way, in my opinion, to render your videos. Because before what you would be doing is when you hit the render, if it's not pre-rendered, yeah, your DaVinci Resolve has to do two steps at once. Not only does it have to encode all the files, but it also has to render them. And that is when a lot of times it takes too much between each frame. 
and that's when your DaVinci is going to crash, especially if you have a lot of compound clips and transitions and just heavy duty clips. So this is how I ended up fixing my renders in DaVinci Resolve. If this video helped you, please leave a like. If you have any more questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll make sure to get back to you. Need for Beans, out. Peace!